Yes, hello. Uh, this is part six, the last of this series of of updating you on interfacing with the doctor within. Um, in the uh, previous sessions, we talked about the best working model, uh, telling how it's made and how I think it works and why I'm doing this. And uh, in this last uh, part here, I'd like to tell you some applications that I think it could be used uh, in the future, or even in the present. As I said before, uh, the apparatus itself uh, was covered in the uh, previous um, uh, parts to this presentation. And also, too, the schematic diagram, flowchart, uh, assembly, um, how to use it. And all of this was covered uh, previously. So anyway, going ahead with applications so we t that we started in uh, part 506, another application where doctors themselves could use it um, to factor in their own medical intuition into a diagnosis. And uh, uh, another, uh, another application would be to give a tool, an actual tool to medical intuitives that would be able to record their intuition, to, to actually document their intuition. And, and a device of this nature may be able to, um, to enhance their abilities to provide even a more uh, accurate diagnosis. Or, or even to help the doctor in, um, in being able to diagnose a patient. Okay, what I'm thinking about here in this one is the medical researchers um, and, and or engineers could use this concept to help in their work. As an example, um, that uh, they may be working on a kind of a knotty problem uh, at work and I think all of us have had the example of going to sleep and then coming up with an answer overnight, and it just seems so apparent. Uh, but perhaps with a device of this uh, of this type, uh, may be able to uh, help to get that answer um, a little faster, a little bit better, and being able to document um, that uh, the intuition uh, that is going on behind the scenes in the subconscious. Okay, on this slide here, um, talking about the online symptom checkers, uh, there's a lot of them out there, and uh, but what I'm thinking is there may may be an opportunity for these symptom checkers to to um, uh, to have an intuitive input, uh, perhaps a device like what I've made or something like it. Uh, could help to select um, which diagnosis of many uh, is most appropriate to the person at hand. And also, too, amongst all the different treatments um, available for a particular diagnosis, the, the intuitive input or the intuitive opinion may help um, hone into the best possible treatment for a particular malady. Um, on this one here, I'm thinking that uh, intuition uh, could be um, could be enhanced, uh, uh, kind of like a training program for people to uh, increase their own intuition. Um, and and the device I've made could could be a start to that, but uh, but I sure hope you can do a whole lot better. Um, what I'm thinking is maybe uh, uh, some time ahead um, that I won't need a little device to to give me these intuitive messages. I'll be able to to access my intuition and my subconscious a lot better without all these little training wheels and and such um, to uh, to provide that uh, kind of a gateway. Okay, what this means to me, and maybe to you too, is that uh, I'm looking to this concept or this device or this tool to improve my own health and well-being. Um, I'd like to emphasize that this 
gives more gives a voice uh, to the intuitive or subconscious side of myself. And uh, I'd like to emphasize that just average people can experiment with this concept, much like folks in the early days of radio, or even today with people uh, adding uh, software and hardware to their own computers. I think we can all work together and develop this concept into something that is uh, uh, helpful to, to us all. As far as next steps um, for, uh, for you, if you're interested, is to uh, encourage you to pencil in some things that you may have seen in these uh, slides or presentation that uh, you want to follow up on. Um, perhaps that you can use this in your own practice, whether you're a doctor or a nurse or a chiropractor or a counselor or, or some other uh, application. Or maybe is it to just have, as an average person uh, to, put to uh, put it to use in your own life. Um, next steps for myself, uh, planning on continuing to experiment and blurt out uh, everything that I learn about it, um, positive, negative, and anywhere in between. Uh, I think it's a good idea, and uh, so hopefully uh, it's going to help you too. Um, planning on uh, communicating with others who are interested in this topic in a positive nature, uh, answering questions, uh, hosting um, uh, webinars uh, on the internet, uh, answering questions, uh, brainstorming sessions, uh, etc. Um, anyway, this presentation is for informational purposes only. Uh, everything that you've seen and heard is, uh, please use it at your own risk. I'm not a doctor, uh, but however, I am learning about my own health more and more as time goes along. Um, uh, please use your own judgment, and if you think that you need some, uh, some help to do what you want to do, um, to check with a doctor or engineer or attorney or whatever you need to stay safe and out of trouble. There's a full disclaimer at my website. I don't sell anything, uh, particularly these device or this particular device that I made. Uh, so uh, you'll have to make your own devices. I've told you everything that I know about what I've made so far. Uh, but I'm hoping that you uh, or someone else can do much, much better. Um, and uh, tell the world about about how you did it and. Uh, and maybe we can work together in advancing uh, this to a positive outcome. I wish you well, uh, all of you. Uh, stay tuned for future updates on my blog or I'm on LinkedIn. So uh, email is also shown. So good luck and uh, we'll see you. Okay, bye now.